What's going on everybody and welcome to a brand new YouTube video here in Miami Beach, which is like more southern than actual Miami. I guess it's the beach part of Miami. Welcome to Miami Beach. Let me just apologize. The uh, really bright sun here either lights me up or makes me really dark. So yeah, I forgot the ND filter. Smooth. So unlike most people, I'm not in Miami or in Florida for vacation. I'm here because there's someone who I haven't seen in years finally going to reunite me. We gotta, we gotta travel all the way up to figure out Who's behind door number one? I'm not going to say the, the actual door, because that, that got to be too exposing. <laughs> it's Luna. You prefer to you. I wish you. I guess you can see who it is. <laughs> it's Luna. All right, so some backstory here. I haven't seen Luna in probably two years. Two years. And that's because my mother was watching her while I was doing army things, moving into larger houses. And now it's finally time that she can be returned, come back to the KY. I'm sure she enjoyed Florida much more than Kentucky because no one enjoys Kentucky. Good thing I got inside when I did. Kind of stormy outside. Kind of stormy. This is all of Luna's documents. Because Luna has documents for her stuff. Dog. She's a dog. Luna needs a bath. She's a dirty beach dog. Not that she smells bad, but it'll be one of her last times she can, you know, have her cool little spa treatment. Cause she gets, she goes to the, the cool spa here in Miami. She gets that special dog treatment. That doggy special treatment. Hey, what are you doing? Good. Here we go. Good girl. Go be the best. Whoa! Just a little pit stop before the dog wash. Just a little pit stop. Okay, now we go. Now we go, washer. Quick, quick little play. Quick little play.
Nope. So how does this work? Now I will disinfect. What? I will disinfect the cabin capsule. Do you want to disinfect the cabin for free? Yes. And you, you wash her cabin? stuff? Yes. She's large. She's long. Yes. And I have a lava con card. Wait, so is Luna going to be in there when that happens too? Next, um, we'll take all of this out and then I'll put her in there. You're next, Luna. You're next. Look Good at that. Girl. Okay, you sit. Wait. Goodbye. Goodbye. She's getting wet. I feel like she likes this. See, it's like a doggy spa, but she won't have this back in Kentucky. So we had to give her one last little spa. Spa. The next day, we're packing up Luna's items. She's like a person having so many items. And dude, it is so humid here. This thing just fogs immediately. Like, you, you can't even film for like two seconds. We're packing up the car. We're gonna go get a rental car and drive Luna back to Kentucky. Cause I don't, an airplane and the dog, probably not the smoothest, probably not the best idea. So we're gonna go get a rental car and then drive back. To Kentucky from Miami. It happens to be the same. Patient Adam. Oh, thanks. It happens to be the same exact car as my mother's car. I just couldn't. I, I, I can't, literally can't film outside because it's so humid here. I tried, and I just had to keep wiping the lens, and you still just couldn't see anything. I mean, look at the windows. They're just they're just wet. I, this place is just hot. But now we start our adventure, Luna. She's a little worn out from saying her goodbyes. We got a long one today. You ready, Luna? Luna, you ready? You ready? She's ready. Barely outside of Orlando. Boy, did I underestimate the sheer size of Florida. But from a southern point in Florida, being Miami, dude. This is a haul, and Luna, you're doing a fantastic job. We actually made our first pit stop. I didn't film it because it's kind of a congested area. It was at a pilot. Luna hopped out. She ran around in the grass for a little bit, did her little business, and then we got some gas and back on the road. Going till this boy's empty again. So I'm gonna assume probably in Georgia. Hurry back to the free state of Florida. in Georgia. Luna. Luna. I was gonna get Luna a little like Bucky's bandana thing, you know. Show our support for Bucky's. Here, one of the bandanas that go around her neck there. Not around her neck, but like in that area. Well, they don't have them. They have everything else for dogs, but not that. I feel like a lot of dog owners wouldn't let their dogs drink on road trips. Bro, you can't do that. You gotta let them. You gotta let them quench their thirst. Bucky's stop number two, almost in Tennessee. Luna, do you think this one will have the bandana for you? Will you, will you have your bandana? 
let's find out. Update, no bandana. Luna, I'm sorry. I guess it's off to what's next, Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 that I see. You can't see me because the road's dark. And I would turn on the cabin light, but uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to see the road because I'm on like some dark highway. The brights are on, by the way. I had to turn on the cabin light now because I got to share. Very rarely do I feel like creeped out or like, whoo, I got to get out of here. Like, you know, you know that weird like feeling you go down into a spooky basement or something and you're like, let me, let me get out of here. This, this isn't, something's not right. I want to get out of here. I'll, I'd rather have taken a longer route on the highway. Dude, this is sketchy. I feel like this is where like Ted Bundy's going to pop out. He's, he's going to be on the side of the road and be like, hey, you help me fix my flat tire? Like, dude, this, this is just getting, it's getting a little out of hand. I haven't really seen any person at all for probably the past 50 miles. Luna, guess what? Guess what? Where are you? Guess what? You're home. Luna. She's home. Guys, I'm going to be honest. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. I think it's time that we go to sleep. And then we'll see how Luna's doing in the morning. But <laughs> she looks excited. Look. Are you excited? Are you excited? She's excited. Welcome to your new home. Come on. Get out. Welcome to your new home. Welcome. Welcome, Luna. Oh, she's going right to the door. Welcome. She's just a pupper. <laughs> Welcome. Luna, what do you think? What do you think? Hey, get back. What do you think? Why are you looking at the car? Do you like your new home? Welcome and fine. Hello? Luna, do you remember your brother, Spud? Hey, Spud. You're having such a great time exploring, huh? Spud went in the room. You scared him. It's the next morning. One of the cats is actually out. One of them? Yes. You mean Fig? She has a name. Well, yeah, but the, I didn't know if the viewers knew her name. I, I know who Fig is. I know who Fig is. <laughs> but Luna's good. She slept with last night, and she's doing great. Fig and Luna have met each other before. Luna was actually at our old apartment when we adopted Spud and Loaf. Yeah, they, they all know each other, so... But this video is going to end here. Any last words, Luna? No. Okay. Okay. Peace.